Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 58th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about uh, joins in SQL and uh, we're going to see how we can pull data from uh, two tables simultaneously on the basis of some condition and uh, you know populate our results set. So as I mentioned in the last tutorial we'll uh, create another table in this tutorial so actually have I have created one already so you know I've given it the name courses and uh, this table has two fields the first one is uh, course underscore id it's uh, of integer type and it's also going to be the primary key for this table and uh, the second field is name and it's of uh, varchar type and uh, it can have a maximum of 30 characters and uh, then i also inserted some data in this uh, table so you know i've got four rows of data currently you know uh, uh physics uh, is the course which has the ID 1 and biology is the course that has the ID 2 and uh, chemistry has ID 3 and mathematics has ID 4 so if I would execute the select star from courses uh, you know query then uh, I would see this result set so you know course ID 1 physics 2 biology 3 chemistry and 4 mathematics right so I've got data in place and of course we are also going to work with the student underscore info table so if you guys remember in the last tutorial we use the alter table command to add a field called uh, course in the student underscore info table and we also you know entered a value one for it so you know uh, let me just execute the select star on that uh, table to you know just refresh your memory and show you guys the data that we have in the table so select star and of course I've missed from here so select star from student underscore info and uh, you know this is the data that we have so I've got uh, John mail, John at gmail.com, DOB, and the value for the course field is one. So let's say, you know, I want to use this value of uh, the course field to, you know, see which course has John enrolled in. So, you know, the value one corresponds to the course physics, you know, in the courses table. So, you know, let's say I want to, you know, see John's name, John's email address, and I want to also see the course in which John has uh, enrolled in and uh, you know the name and the email address is present in the student underscore info uh, table whereas the course name is present in the courses table so you know in the result set we want to see you know uh, rows from two different tables or you want to see values from two different tables so we're going to accomplish this using joins and uh, there are lots of ways of performing uh, joins in SQL and I'm going to discuss the simplest way with you guys so what you will do is you will uh, type in select and uh, then you will type in the names of the fields that you want to see so you know we want to see name and email from uh, student underscore info table so you will type in uh, you know student underscore info first so student underscore info and then you'll put a dot and then you will type in the name of the field that you want to fetch so you want to fetch name so student underscore info dot name and then you also want to fetch email from this uh, table so student underscore info dot email and uh, then you want to fetch uh, name from the courses table so you know you would have to type in courses dot name and uh, then on the next line you'll have to type in from and since in this case we want to fetch these values from two tables we'll have to type in names of both tables here so you type in student underscore info and then you put a comma and then you type in the name of the second table which is courses now we want to fetch the data on the basis of some condition and that condition is where this field value equals the value of this field you know the uh, id field that we have in the courses table this value has to match the value of uh, you know the course field in the student underscore info table so we're going to use the where clause here so where student underscore info dot course which is an integer value where this value equals courses dot id right I'll put a semicolon at the end and this completes our SQL query and when I press control enter I see an error message so courses underscore ID doesn't exist so what did I call this field oh I call this field course underscore ID so I'll have to change this to course underscore ID and when I press control enter now I see John's name I see John's email address and I also see the name uh, of the course in which John enrolled so I see physics error 
right? So this is how you fetch data from multiple tables and, and you could have a very complicated condition here in the where clause, you know, this is a very simple condition. You could also have like multiple conditions where this happens as well as the value of something is less than something or the value of something is greater than something. So, you know, you could have multiple conditions and you could use the logical and or operators and, you know, uh, do a lot of fancy stuff. So again, I'm not going to delve too much in detail, uh, you know, uh, about SQL joins. And if you want to know more then of course you can check out my course on uh, SQL in which I've discussed this concept in, uh, you know, a good amount of detail. And, uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video in which, uh, we'll, uh, see, you know, how we can connect to a database, uh, using PHP and, uh, Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, take care.